We were looking for a big open room. So when, the, when, the, when I open up the paper and I see church for sale, it's like, big room? Do you see this? This is like the coolest. It's a former Baptist church, the Banksville Baptist Church. It was built in 1853. In the 1970s, uh, the congregation dwindled, so it became a residence. A family bought it, raised a family here. And a hippie family. A hippie family, and then we were the, the next people to buy it. The immediate neighbors were concerned that we were going to knock it down and build a McMansion, which happens oh. every day in Greenwich. And we said, no, we're going to stay true to the building. So outside, it still really looks like a... The church. It's a church. We didn't do anything you know, to make it You know, a New England modern. church, except for the front door. That's a little bit of a departure. But then inside, we were free to do whatever we want. The worst thing to go is to, to go into a renovation with unknowns. To kind of help that, I gutted the whole interior before I showed it to any architect or renovator. So basically they come in and they could see the studs. You know, they could see what the problems as opposed to, oh, we took a corner down and there's nothing there. Well, you know, we need another hundred thousand dollars. We need to change the plans. It's like, here's the guts guys. Go, you know, now you can give me a proper bid. Then we figured out we wanted to at least two bedrooms and two bathrooms and how and where we're gonna fit those. Choir Loft is now our floating pod, if you want to, we call it our pod, uh, but it's basically a, a, a sculptural room, room that floats over the kitchen. But it's the master bedroom, the bathroom, and the closets. Closets. The eating experience is, is where family life is. We figured we would turn the kitchen into our altar. Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, put a hook right in here, and then put a hammock here. We had to figure out how to fix the steeple because the steeple was being pulled over. So we had to, it was too tall to renovate in place, so we had to get a crane to pick it up, put it down on the ground, renovate it on the ground, yeah, they did all the pick it up on and the put it on again. Then we said, no bell. So we, now we have a nice little area up there that, uh, for a sunset drink. We wanted something that was really super modern and something that would, that would stay modern and not go out of style within five years.